builds a snail and fingernails And creatures of all kinds His handy works all around us And plain for all to see From outer space to the nose that on my face He made it all It's a wonderful, 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 wonderful world for 2020. It looks very different but we will have all our usual stuff for Morning Madness. Games, songs, crazy characters and of course lots and lots of fun. Today our theme for all the sessions is the fun of discovery and we'll be meeting a man called Solomon in the Bible who had a great discovery after a conversation with God. But right now let me introduce to you Professor Pickles and Peabody and we'll see what they get up to in wherever they are. Professor Peter Peabody here. Hi Peabody, it's Professor Pickles. I'm at the beach, but I can't find you or any of the beach mission people. Where are you? Uh, well, I'm at the Wonder Zone Laboratory, Prof. Beach mission's happening online this year. Oh, you better get here ASAP. We've got loads of people waiting for us. Okay, I'll use my new transport around. I'm on my way. Okay. Oh, they're in the Wonder Zone Laboratory. We're online this year. Right, I'm going to use my new app. Ah. Oh, Hi! Where did you come from? Transport device, of course, uh. but I'll tell you about that later. What do you mean Beach Mission's online this year? Where are all the boys and girls? Well, they're there, watching us from home. Say hello. Oh, hi everybody. It's so great to have so many little scientists joining us this year. Mm -hmm. I wonder what things we're going to learn in our Wonders Over Lab. Oh, I'm looking forward to finding out mm. so much. Not just about science, but about God as well. Yes, indeed. Speaking of God, why don't we start off with our prayer? Good plan, Prof. Good to have you here. Even though we're not meeting in the same way this year, um, I'm thankful that we can still be united and um, that wherever we are, I pray that God would really speak to us all. 
um, we're going to pray at the start of each morning badness. I'm going to say the words in black if you could join in with the words in red. Dear God, it's great to be here. Yes, we want to hear from you. Yes, as we discover, as we play and as we shout, Wonder Zone. Amen. Oh, thanks for that. I feel like I need a little bit of prayer at the moment because I'm actually moving away to a new country by the end of the week. I'm really excited to be moving away to this new job in the new country. But I'm also kind of sad to be leaving my work colleague, the world-renowned Professor Pickles. She is a genius. Oh, don't, prof, 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 don't drink the lab juice. What have I told you about that? What, what do you mean? How else do I know what they all are uh, if I don't taste them? Prof, that's digitalis from our foxglove plants. Oh, no. Yes, it's poisonous yeah, if you it drink is. it. It slows your heart down and you'll die. It can be useful in medicines for people with heart conditions, but best not to drink it, Prof. Are you sure it's this one? Yes, definitely. I should probably stick a label out then, shouldn't I? You probably I? should. Okay, I'll put it he over here for safety for now. Remind me to stick a label on that later. Okay. What would I do without you, Peabody? Die, probably. What, <coughs> what was that? Uh, don't worry about it, Prof. Mm. I've put out a job advert and okay. hopefully I'll be interviewing people over this week mm. and you'll have a replacement lab assistant by the end of the week. Oh, so that's I can, exciting. So I can go off to a new country and you'll have someone to help you in the lab. It's making sure that I don't drink poisonous liquids. Yes, indeed. That's really good to know. I have been also coming up with a brand new invention, Peabody. Oh. Would you like to find out about my new rocket fuel? I would indeed. Okay, bear with me while I just grab it. Oh. This is my new fantastic rocket fuel. It's going to be better than all the other rocket fuels out there. Okay. Would you like to try it? Is it safe to test it? Well, I think so. I've done some tests and it's been pretty stable so far. Okay. I do need your help though. All right. If you can please take the lid off this, mm -hmm. I need to add in my tube of catalysts okay. to make the chain reaction, which is going to power this rocket fuel. Right. You're going to need your goggles on for this one, Peabody. Okay, here we go. I hope this rocket fuel of yours is uh, working. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yes. I just oh. add the catalyst in now. Come on, man. To see this. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh. This wasn't meant to happen. Ah. It's meant to be stable. Oh, don't worry about it, Prof. Oh, Peabody! Oh, don't worry. We oh. need to Prof, Prof, come back! Prof, where are you going? We need to clear this. Oh. Look, while we get this tidied up, how about we cut to a song?
to show Right, everyone, I'm looking for a new lab assistant. I put an advert online and I hope we'll get some good responses. I'm meeting the first one here any moment now. Ah, here they are now. That's an unusual piece of headgear to wear to an interview. Why are you wearing a crown? Well, I'm Solomon, king of Israel. Israel, eh? I don't think Israel had a king. Well, it doesn't now. I was king about 3,000 years ago. What? Have you travelled through time? Well, I'll have to ask Doctor Who about this, or Professor Brian Cox. Or maybe Professor Pickles upgraded the lab computer without telling me. Anyway, that's not important now. Have you come to apply for the role of lab assistant? Uh, no, not really. I've come to share my story with all the scientists. Oh, are you sure you don't want a job? Uh, no, you're okay. I've got my plate full being king. Ah, fair point. I imagine you are quite busy. Go on then, so what's your story? Well, my dad was called David. He was a great king, but when he died, I became king. I wanted to be as good as my dad, so I tried to live the way God wanted me to, as much as I could. Oh, so you follow God too. That's great. We're learning about God this week as well. Well, that's why I'm here. You see, I was worshipping God one day when he spoke to me. He spoke to you, eh? Well, how did you know it was him? I could hear him. He came to me in a dream. I've been following God all my life. I've always tested whether God was really speaking to me by following his instructions. And it's always worked out for good. The more I followed him, the more I got to know his voice. Yeah, that's a little bit like science too. Building up evidence and understanding over time. Well, what did God say to you? Well, he made a very surprising statement. He said, ask for anything you want and I will give it to you. Anything? Oh, imagine what you could get. Uh, a state-of-the-art laboratory, money to pay for research, or a super-duper vending machine in the professor's parlour. Uh, so what did you ask for? Wisdom. Because to be wise means having knowledge, experience, and good judgment about what's right and wrong. What? You asked for wisdom, not a really fast sports car or a speedboat. Um, I'm not quite sure what those are, but no. I have to rule over a very big kingdom full of lots of people with lots of problems. The most important thing I need is to know things. To know what's right and what's wrong. Mm. I need wisdom. Wow. You know what? You make a really good point. I also like to know things, or discovering new ideas, and be surprised about the world around me. I also need knowledge to help me decide what is a good thing and what is a bad thing. So did God give you wisdom, King Solomon? Yes, he did. And you know what? He promised to give me lots of money and a long life, too. He really is the best. Wow. Yeah, maybe Prof needs help realising that even if things don't go to plan, we can still discover new information and new experiences. That's still wisdom and knowledge gained, after all. Even if it is knowledge on how to make a mess. And hey, with all that money you got, maybe you can get that speedboat after all. Well, uh, no. No. <laughs> Sailing isn't really the most important thing on my to-do list right now. Not when I've got a whole kingdom to rule. So you don't need a job as a lab assistant either, then? I could really do with somebody with your wisdom. No time, my friend. I'm sure you'll get someone eventually. Bye. Goodbye, Your Majesty. <sighs> right. I wonder how Pickles is getting on with tidying up. Hi everyone! Oh, I had to get out of the windows in the lab. I can't believe that my experiment went wrong. So I decided to escape and come to the beach to help me calm down. And when I got here, I bumped into Ross, who's been teaching me this really cool game. Ross, do you want to teach all of our viewers out there uh, the game that you've been telling me about? Yeah, so it's really simple. Everyone knows rock, paper, scissors. Well, this is the next level, okay? This is what everyone's going to be doing in the future, okay? So, we have 
candle room tornado. Okay, candle room tornado. And so we do it by actions rather than these little sort of things we do it with our whole body. Okay, so candle is like you. Yeah, you know it. We have room and we have tornado. Okay, right. And so we're gonna have a game of that. Okay, so we're gonna have a game. And then you guys can try it at home. That sounds great. Shall we tell them which one beats which? Small idea. Mm. So, candle always beats a room because it lights up a room. Okay? Uh. But what beats a candle? A candle's always blown out by a hurricane, tornado. Yeah. Okay? And what, what takes you from a hurricane? A room. Okay? So, do we get that? Yes. Do you, want to, do you want to repeat that? Okay, so candle yeah. beats room because it lights it up. Correct. Room beats tornado because it protects you. Spot and on. tornado beats candle because it blows it out. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Okay, I think I'm going to win this one. Okay, here we go. Should we count down three, two, one, and then do it after one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, three, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, oh no, draw. Okay, let's three, go. Three, two, one. <sighs> Oh no, you win! Yes. How about a third, third one? Third one, okay, here we third go. Third time lucky. I'm losing my important papers out of my pocket. Oh dear, that's all the plans, isn't it? All my inventions are on this bit of paper. Final one decided, that's okay. one wins. Three, two, one. Oh! Yeah, it's a draw! Being by oh. my own game. Well, thanks, Ross, for teaching me this really cool game. You're very welcome. It's been great. Welcome to the notices. So today at half past 11, we have sessions going live on our YouTube channel for starfish, squid, seahorses, sharks, and barnacles. At two o'clock, there will be a live Zoom session for shrimps, and at three o'clock, a live Zoom session for stingrays. If you haven't already registered, then please follow the instructions that are on the screen now, and these will tell you how to get involved in the online sessions and you'll be sent the joining instructions for them. We'd love to hear from you during this week. You can post feedback on our videos or photos on our Facebook page. We'd love to see you having fun doing the crafts and activities from each of the sessions and this applies to the adults as well as the children. Do post things for us to see and we'll be able to follow them up and share with each other. Don't forget to join us back here tomorrow at half past ten for tomorrow's morning madness. Oh, Prof, I've just been speaking to our first interviewee and, uh, Prof, is that sound? Yeah. Have you been to the beach again? Yeah. Uh, Prof, you were meant to be tidying up. I did tidy up, can't you see? No, you've removed the delicate things from the table. That is tidying up. Oh, I see. You seem to have lost your glasses along the way. No wonder you can't see this oh, mess. Oh no, I must have left them on the beach. Here, I've got some spears for you. Try those. Thanks, Peabody. Oh, you mean this mess? Yes. Ah. Peabody, why didn't you tidy it up? I've been busy interviewing someone. Oh, well, okay. Turns out that it was actually this guy called King Solomon was, from the past. Was he any good? Yeah, he asked God for wisdom. The wisdom to know what's right and what's wrong. Um, but he reminded me that things don't always go to plan. And even when things do go wrong, uh, we can still learn from those things. And in that way, we still become more wise. Mm, that, that reminds me, actually. That's why I became a scientist. Mm. Was, it was to learn more about God through the wonders that he's created and to learn from God's wisdom in his creation. I guess... I forget sometimes that it's okay if the if my experiments go wrong. Yeah. Actually, that's a chance for me to learn from them mm. and learn something new. And actually, I have been thinking, and I think I know what went wrong with my rocket fuel. Oh, brilliant. So I've learned from my experience. Excellent. I think that's wisdom achieved. Wisdom achieved. Hey, uh, speaking of wisdom and discovery, I'm going to set you guys a task at home. I want you to go on the Beach Mission Sutton on Sea Facebook page and uh, give us your best scientific fact. That way I can read through them and uh, hopefully learn more and discover more myself and become wiser through your facts. Mm. Why don't we finish with a song? Oh, a song. Brilliant idea. However, and after that, we'll hand back over to Liz.
Yeah. Um, and don't worry, though, because we'll be here the same time tomorrow. So you can join us in our Wonder Zone lab again. And it will be great for you to join us again. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Ah! Oh. Noah built the most enormous boat They kept the birds and animals afloat The Lord was good, the Lord was strong And Noah lived his life for him Moses led his people through the sea Taking them away from slavery The Lord was good the Lord was strong and Moses lived his life for him. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, that all through history you were faithful. Thank you, oh, thank you, that you are just the same when it comes to me, when it comes to me. David fought Goliath and he won A humble shepherd boy became a king The Lord was good, the Lord was strong And David lived his life for him Daniel was inside a lion's den Who got for him to safety once again The Lord was good the Lord was strong and Daniel lived his life for him. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, that all through history you were faithful. Thank you, oh, thank you, that you are just the same when it comes to me, when it comes to me. Jesus died to take away our sin So we could get to know our God again The Lord is good, the Lord is strong And we will live our lives for Him Oh, thank you, oh, thank you That all through history you were faithful Thank you, oh, thank you That you are just when it comes to me, thank you, oh thank you, that all through history you were faithful, thank you, oh thank you, that you are just the same when it comes to me, when it comes to me. Well, I very much enjoyed meeting Professor Pickles and Peabody this morning and I'm very much looking forward to reading your, some of your favourite facts. Don't forget, starfish, squid, seahorses, sharks and barnacles, your videos will be ready at half past eleven on YouTube. Shrimps, you will meet with your parents at two o'clock and stingrays at three o'clock, you don't need to bring your parents. See you all later, bye!